In this lecture, we explore existentialism, its impact on daily decisions, and the pursuit of authentic existence. Dive into a journey of freedom, choice, and self-discovery. Continuing our exploration, we delve into the awakening to existence, unveiling existentialism's core tenets, authenticity, anxiety, alienation, and action. Kierkegaard, the 19th century thinker, championed an authentic existence, prioritizing personal convictions. This stance highlights the existential quest for genuineness. Anxiety, recognized by existentialists as inherent to our condition, arises from our freedom and the weight of choice, epitomized by the conflict between security and passion. Alienation speaks to feeling disconnected in a perceived meaningless world, prompting the search for significance. Lastly, action emphasizes enacting choices aligned with true beliefs, a stride towards a purposeful life. These principles not only inform our everyday, but also inspire a deeper, courageous engagement with our existence. Building on the essence of existentialism, we explore significant themes beginning with the moment of awakening. Picture the transformative experience of Antoine Rocantin in Jean-Paul Sartre's Noza, where a sudden confrontation with his own existence marks a crucial pivot in the existential odyssey. This realization serves as a gateway to pursuing authenticity. Furthermore, we discuss liberation versus burden, shedding light on existentialism's dual view of freedom. It empowers and imposes the heaviness of our choices' consequences. The critical role of decision-making illustrates that our identity is molded by our actions, entrusting us with creating a life of significance. Lastly, conceptualizing life as a canvas, we perceive each choice as an artistic addition to our life's blank canvas, rendering our essence fluid, shaped by continuous, deliberate decisions. This vision underscores the existential decree that our life's purpose is for us to define, crafted through each purposeful choice. Building upon our understanding of existentialism's profound impact on the fabric of our daily lives, let's consider the scenario where someone is faced with multiple job offers. Each opportunity presents its unique advantages and challenges, showcasing the double-edged sword of existential freedom. The exhilaration of choice embodies our inherent liberty, yet the daunting task of deciding emphasizes the seriousness of our autonomy. Whistleblowing illustrates a critical junction where personal risk meets the obligation to uphold ethical standards, highlighting the essence of our moral compass. Such choices, whether in professional crossroads or ethical dilemmas, steer us through life's myriad paths. They compel us to align our actions with our core beliefs, ultimately carving our distinct place within society's mosaic. Jean-Paul Sartre and Simone de Beauvoir, towering figures in existentialist thought, engage with the tension between true self-expression and societal expectations. Sartre illuminates authenticity as acknowledging our freedom and its accompanying duties, cautioning against bad faith, a refusal of these realities to avoid the unease of freedom. De Beauvoir introduces an ethical layer, emphasizing the need to assert one's liberty in ways that acknowledge and respect others' autonomy, thus framing authenticity as relational. Their insights underscore the existential imperative. To lead an authentic life means navigating social pressures with a commitment to personal autonomy and moral considerations. The example of choosing a career that mirrors one's passion and principles rather than yielding to external expectations, exemplifies existentialist authenticity, showcasing the ongoing, bold endeavor to reflect our true selves through our choices. Building upon our examination of existentialist philosophy and its impact on our decision-making processes and place in society, we now turn our attention to Albert Camus and his compelling viewpoint on the absurd. Camus proposes that rather than succumbing to despair, when confronted with the inherent meaninglessness of existence, we should rise in rebellion. He spotlights the power of passion, liberty, and creating one's essence from our existential predicaments. Through this lens, we see the existential hero who, despite acknowledging life's vacuity, chooses to sculpt a unique path filled with significance. Camus' interpretation of the myth of Sisyphus underscores this philosophy portraying not despair but fierce resilience as Sisyphus triumphs in his eternal challenge, embodying the spirit of existential defiance in the quest for authenticity. 
Continuing our exploration, we approach the philosophy of existentialism, which sheds light on the profound insights into daily rituals and convictions, urging the creation of personal significance in a seemingly indifferent cosmos. The notion of the absurd emerges as a key element, born from the juxtaposition of our meaning-seeking nature and the cosmos's silence. Albert Camus, a seminal thinker in existential philosophy, encourages us to perceive the absurd as a stepping stone to a meaningful life. Our daily encounters with the absurd call for a rebellion of personal affirmation, a peaceful yet profound declaration of our liberty, weaving significance in the tapestry of life's uncertainties. Sisyphus's tale, eternally laboring yet finding solace in his endeavor, epitomizes human endurance against existential dilemmas. Camus sees Sisyphus's grin as a rebellion against the absurd, a prompt for us to tackle our tasks with enthusiasm and perseverance, discovering contentment even in repetitive pursuits. This narrative resonates with our everyday existence, pushing us to face the absurd with resolve, carving out personal sagas of significance and happiness. Living genuinely, a pivotal doctrine of existentialism, entails decisions that mirror our essence, unconstrained by social norms. This doctrine, promoted by Camus and Sartre, compels us to deeply engage with our liberty, sculpting our journey amid freedom and obligation. This genuine interaction with our being calls for a heartfelt commitment to shaping our fate, a voyage characterized by the choice of personal stories over the cosmos's apathy. Through these existential perspectives, we are encouraged to traverse life's absurdities with resilience, delight, and a strong dedication to genuineness. Forging ahead, we find reflective journaling, an exercise rooted in existential philosophy, offering a space for deep self-discovery amidst life's complexities. This method of self-reflection serves as a window into the depths of our identity, propelling us towards crafting a life of genuine resonance and purpose. Alongside this, mindfulness grounds us in the present, cultivating a conscious approach to our decisions, thus enriching our existence with intentionality and presence. Open discourse further broadens our existential understanding, giving voice to our innermost convictions within society's tapestry. Through these practices, we chart our existential voyage with markers of personal agency, liberty, and genuineness. Embracing a career aligned with our passions epitomizes the pursuit of authenticity. This life-defining decision showcases the existential commitment to self-directedness, illuminating a path that reflects our core values. This choice embodies the existential ethos of creating our essence with mindful actions, underscoring the challenge and splendor of living a life uniquely our own, infused with authenticity and dedication to our cherished ideals. Building on the narrative of living genuinely, we shift our focus to existential ethics, which pivots from traditional morality favoring personal subjectivity. Envision the significant moment of career selection, an experience familiar to many. Here, existentialism champions a choice rooted not in societal standards or anticipated financial rewards, but in a profound alignment with one's authentic self. Such a decision stands as a testament to the essence of authenticity, attesting that our most principled actions emerge from harmonizing with our true values, challenging mainstream expectations. Further, we consider a pivotal scenario, a public figure who at a juncture between personal advantage and ethical integrity chooses the latter, exemplifying existentialism's valor in authentic existence. This decision illuminates the pivotal confluence of freedom and responsibility, highlighting that genuine authenticity demands not only the bravery to act on our convictions, but also the willingness to accept the outcomes of these acts. This perspective transforms existential ethics from theory to practice, steering us towards a life steeped in authenticity, accountability, and deep-seated satisfaction. Reflecting on Albert Camus' post-World War II musings provides a poignant lens through which to view the societal upheaval and individual existential dilemmas during that period, underscoring existentialism's pivotal role in both art and literature at a critical moment in history. Moreover, Edvard Munch's The Scream transcends its visual form to capture existentialism's core sentiments of alienation and fear embodying these universal experiences and linking philosophical ideas with tangible human emotions. 
The incorporation of existential themes in digital art exemplifies the philosophy's enduring relevance and adaptability, revealing how contemporary existential inquiries manifest in new forms, addressing current challenges through an existential perspective. Additionally, Delving into the Stranger by Camus encourages a reflection on absurdity and the search for significance, promoting dialogue on existentialism's profound effects on our cultural landscape and personal reflections. These instances collectively enrich our grasp of existentialism's influence across diverse artistic domains, deepening our appreciation for how existential motifs weave through various facets of culture, literature, and the intricacies of human experience. Following our examination of existentialist ethics and the interplay of freedom and responsibility, we delve into the profound insight of Jean-Paul Sartre's existence precedes essence. This principle asserts that we enter this world without any destined roles, shaping our identity and purpose through our actions. Envision choosing a digital detox, not only to lessen screen time, but as a reflection of valuing real-life experiences over digital ones, an action fitting with personal beliefs. The disciplined engagement with reflective journaling emerges as a powerful tool for facing our choices, recognizing our emotions, and understanding our decisions' deep impacts. This method echoes the call to authenticity, acting as a prism reflecting our alignment with our authentic selves or our compliance with external pressures. It's a call to critically engage with our existential decisions, using journaling as a pathway to explore and question the truth of our directions, fostering a stronger connection with our genuine selves. Continuing our journey, we arrive at choice and commitment, emphasizing that the core of our existence is sculpted by daily decisions. This philosophy purports that we are the architects of our fate, underscoring that we exist first and define ourselves second through our actions. Such perspective propels us to infuse our lives with significance through deliberate choices, which in turn forges our identity. It beckons us not just to exist, but to craft our story meticulously, echoing our deepest beliefs. Moving to the realm of art as expression, we discover art as a profound channel reflecting existential themes of autonomy, despair, and the quest for meaning. Through various artistic mediums, the existential spirit is captured encouraging reflection on the essence of our being. Art transcends mere aesthetics, becoming a means to explore and articulate the complex nature of human experience. Here, art and existentialism merge, providing a framework for pondering our conflicts, victories, and the continuous pursuit of an authentic existence.